The Lord shows him for himself as high priest, and opening his treasure house, made him rich in all good things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge before God our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, Filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that, following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. The children of Israel offended the Lord by serving the Baals. Abandoning the Lord, the God of their fathers, who led them out of the land of Egypt, they followed the other gods of the various nations around them, and by their worship of these gods, provoked the Lord. Because they had thus abandoned him and served Baal and the Ashtaroth, the anger of the Lord flared up against Israel, and he delivered them over to plunderers who despoiled them. He allowed them to fall into the power of their enemies, round about whom they were no longer able to withstand. Whatever they undertook, the Lord turned into disaster for them. As in his warning, he had sworn he would do, till they were in great distress. Even when the Lord raised up judges to deliver them from the power of their despoilers, they did not listen to their judges, but abandoned themselves to the worship of other gods. They were quick to stray from the way their fathers had taken, and did not allow, not follow their example of obedience to the commandments of the Lord. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, he would be with the judge and save them from the power of their enemies as long as the judge lived. 
It was thus the Lord took pity on their distressful cries of affliction under their oppressors. But when the judge died, they would relapse and do worse than their ancestors, following other gods in service and worship, relinquishing none of their evil practices or stubborn conduct. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They did not exterminate the peoples, as the Lord had commanded them, but mingled with the nations and learned their works. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They became defiled by their works and wanton in their crimes. And the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Many times did he rescue them, but they embittered him with their counsels. Yet he had regard for their affliction when he heard their cry. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please all rise. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of these I observe. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks to Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of the day brings on stage one person, a man who claimed he had everything right a man who claimed he did everything right, and yet, yet, he lacked something. A vacuum filled his soul. The rich young man in today's gospel passage apparently looks as an ideal person, and some of us even can identify the pattern in the pattern of our lives with his. He seeks for eternal life. 
we to seek the spiritual treasures, the religious riches. <coughs> and so in the gospel, he addresses Jesus as the master. He knows the laws. He practices the commandments. And despite all these aspects, he still lacked something. Despite all these aspects, are we too lacking something? He lacked the control to let go of money, the charity to share his resources, to share his possessions to the poor. He lacked the generosity to set free his mind from being dominated by the cares and burdens of this world. And the rich man is right. There is more to do than mere compliance to the law. Jesus' answer in today's gospel to the rich man is higher in the levels of perfection. He admonished the rich man to sell all his possessions and give the money to the poor. Then Jesus said, come back and follow me. Unfortunately, the rich young man went away sad because his possessions are many. And so we ask ourselves, what are our possessions? Possessions are not confined to having material things only. For some, it is time. Free time is a treasure. For some, they cannot forego free time. Posi position and power is another kind of possession. Some people, as we know, can destroy their fellow just to keep themselves in power. Fame is another kind of possession. Evangelical poverty is poverty that is chosen. It combines detachment from possessions with, with profound trust in the Lord. It means actually simplicity in life. Simplicity of life. Remember that the Lord Jesus, rich as he was, he made himself poor for our sake in order to make us rich by means of his poverty. In other words, it is only when we detach ourselves from worldly possessions that we can truly attach ourselves to Jesus. No possessions in this world can equal to the treasure of deep union with God who created us and who loves us so sincerely. Because loving God has its radical demand. It means if we follow the gospel of today, giving up everything, not leaving anything for us to empty ourselves so that God can penetrate our lives. It means being ready to give up even our opinions, our desires for the sake of the will of God. It means aligning our values to God's will. Saint Teresa of Avila mentioned once, it is a reasonable consequence that he who runs after perishable goods should himself perish. 
And so, my dear friends, the Lord invites us as He invited the rich young man, go sell what you have, give to the poor, and follow me. Give up the feeling that money can rule your life. Give up the notion that worldly success can satisfy you. May this intervention of the gospel help us to have a sense of acceptance and reply, I thank you, Lord, for this timely intervention. We ask ourselves, the gospel of today invites us what possessions or what attachments prevent us from a profound relationship with others, with God? How much can we give up for the sake of following Jesus? Today's gospel, Jesus repeats his call for us to follow him. What is our response to the invitation? Will our response be measurable? Will our response be relevant? Amen. We all stand. The young man who did not follow Jesus because he could not give up his wealth went away sad. <coughs> Nothing would satisfy him who would not satisfy the Lord. Let us pray to find our true treasure in the Lord as we say, Lord, give us the strength to follow you. Lord, give us the strength to follow you. May the church keep herself young by receiving ever anew the strength born of God's word, the Eucharist, the daily presence of Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit in her life. We pray. Lord, Lord give, give us, us the strength to follow you. May our nation feel invigorated by the leadership of energetic and capable young men and women, we pray. Lord, give us the strength to follow you. May the faithful live good lives by following the Ten Commandments summarized in the great commandment of love, we pray. Lord, give us the strength to follow you. May young people have the youthfulness of spirit to seek new horizons and great challenges of life by following Jesus, we pray. Lord, give us the strength to follow you. May young people who discern their own vocation in the world have recourse to Jesus, their friend, who will help them live to the full and become someone who benefits others. We pray. Lord, give us the strength to follow you. Lord God, through the power of Mary's prayer, renew youthfulness in our lives. May we follow Jesus so that we will have treasures in heaven. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for as on the festival of saint Pope pius the 10th you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers and so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven Amen. and earth are, are full of you. your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift she pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this cup, 
We proclaim your, your death, death O Lord, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Pope Pius X, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins of the, of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you, and I desire you to come into my heart, since I cannot receive you sacramentally. 
come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. Oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Pius, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this heavenly table, we may be made constant in the faith and be of one accord in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.